Hi guys, welcome to Do3. My name's Dave Knight, I'm the head coach. Um, this video is about creating a workout in Training Peaks using the custom workout builder um, and how you can adjust that and duplicate it across the days. Really useful if you want to um, get a bit more dialed in with your training and export it to things like Garmin, your Garmin watch and to Zwift. So that's uh, what we're gonna be going through now. Okay, so what I've set up here is a blank training plan within Training Peaks. Um, so if you want to set up a training workout within Training Peaks, then this is all you need to do. It's quite simple. So click on the day, create the type of workout that you want to uh, you want to create. So let's go for a bike session, and then let's give it a name. Let's say um, sixty minutes threshold intervals and all we need to do now is go into build workout now this is actually pretty straightforward I started using the building the workouts on Zwift I was using the Zwift workout builder for a while which is pretty straightforward this looks a little bit more complicated at first glance but once you get used to it it's actually uh, it's actually pretty pretty easy so um, how would you like to build the workout so you can have duration or distance generally leave on duration percentage of threshold power or you can select all these other options as well again I you generally use it as percentage of threshold power and then range or target so a range means that you you will be asked to ride within a target range so for, for example between 200 and 210 watts or target means just you got to hold a certain power ie 200 watts okay so I generally leave that as a range click continue and then all you do is build the sessions from there. Now, each of these little tiny blocks here have got a particular purpose. They are flexible, so you can use them for different purposes, but I'm trying to explain what I mean here. So the first block here is a warm-up block. You've then got a, an active block, so that's just effectively a single interval. Um, you've got a recovery interval. And all it does is these blocks are all the same. So they're just single blocks, but they've got titles on them. So you could use a cool-down block as an active block if you wanted to just change the name and change the power but it just gives you a bit of a pointer about um, the different types of blocks you need to include so it's a two step um, two step repeat so two intervals on this one three intervals on this one and there's a little ramp up with four intervals within it and this one's a ramp down with four in it as well all right so that should be enough to build most most sessions so you could do something like for example let's have a ramp up as a warm-up okay so as you can see there it just dropped it in and it set it to um, four stages and each stage is three minute long three minutes long and it's put dropped in a percent an example or a suggested percentage as you can see over here in the workout details is it gives you a written description but if I just uh, see if I can turn on my turn on my pointer I'll leave that now for now. Um, so it just gives you some example, kind of a, a, a template for you to work from. All right, so um, I think what we'll do is we will take it down to three rather than four steps. And again, you can take it up the other way. You could get five, six, however many you want. Take it back down. Let's take it down to three. Ramp up to three. And then, I don't know, let's make it um, three minutes for the first one, two minutes for the second one. So you just over type this time here. Two minutes for the second one, one minute for the third one. What you can also do with this is you can change the time by dragging this line, just grabbing the line there and changing it. It can be a little bit twitchy, so I just find it easy to actually type the time into into here see it's adjusted the other ones now so it can be a little bit temperamental uh, and then let's drop the other one down to one minute okay so the percentages power percentages or oh, let's leave them as they are 65 55 65 percent of FTP 70 to 80 85 to 95 so we've got a, a long steady start and then we're taking up a little bit of power it's getting shorter and then we get higher power and it goes shorter still so we're gonna be finishing that at 95 percent of FTP 
So that's actually quite a, quite a steep ramp up there from 50% up to 95, but just for the example, we'll leave it as it is for now. So well, what we can do then is we could drop a, uh, let's drop an interval block in there. So let's put a, a three, sorry, a two interval block. And as you can see there, what it's done, it is a two interval block. So there's two there, but it's repeated four times. So you've got eight blocks altogether. So if we change one of these, so if we, for example, if we do um, an interval at, let's say 100% of FTP to 105 and hit enter on that, it's gonna change all four of these, okay? And similarly, if we treat this as a recovery, so let's go, um, well, let's leave it as it is three minutes, but let's do 50 to 50 percent. And if we could say 50 percent exactly, it won't give it a range then. So there we go. So there's our intervals, workout intervals there. And again, you can add these or take them away. So let's leave it at leave it at three. OK, so they're nice, simple intervals. And they can you can, again, you can drag this up and down and left and right to change the power and to change the duration on this actual kind of graph here as well. Um, let's drop an, another active block in. So that's just a sec effectively a single interval. <clears throat> oh, before I forget, if we go back to these, we can say, we can call these what we like. So you could call this um, threshold and you could call this, you could call it recovery. So you can call these what you like and these will carry over to this description here. All right, so it means you don't have to write a full description. It's effectively writing the description of the workout for you. Uh, so this is called active. So you can call this what you like. So you can call it, um, I don't know, prolonged effort. Let's put it at, let's put it at uh, 80 to 85% FTP. Okay, so there we go. That's all set up nice and easy. Now. What you can do here, rather than if you wanted to repeat this, sec this this block here again, rather than putting it in and setting it all up again, you can simply hit the duplicate, drag to copy this block, and you just drag it over there, drop it where you want it to go, and as you can see, it's duplicated it and dragged it and positioned it just there. Um, and again, you can adjust that, that will be down here, you can adjust it however you want. Um, so it's as simple as that really and then just to finish off we could either well let's just put a standard cool down in which is a single interval as you can see there it'll drop in single interval uh let's do well let's leave it as it's, so it's an hour and 20 minutes so it's adding up the time for you so 10 minutes in total let's go 50 percent to 30 percent in fact, what it's done there is because I've done it the wrong way around. This has adjusted it down, so it's gone. It's gone. So we have to go 30 to 50 percent if we want to do that. Okay. So you've got a bigger range there, so you can got a bit more flexibility within it. All right. So that's the total workout. I haven't really given much thought to the workout itself, but um, there it is. So it's added up all the time. So it's added up to an hour and 20 minutes. Now it's an hour and 20 minute workout, and it's calculated the training stress score based on your threshold. Um, so 103 training stress score points um, is a pretty tough session for an hour and 20 minutes. Um, so expect to work pretty hard. I mean, there's a lot of time at threshold in there, so that's why it's hard. So that would be a, <laughs> that would be a tough, a tough session. So that's pretty much all you need to do. There's some other features in here. So this is where you can change the name of the various different um, elements here. So whether it's a work element, a recovery, cool down, warm up, so it just changes some of the data in there. The duration, you can change it to date, distance. There we go, see over here it's changed to from duration to distance. So you can have that as an option. Let's change it back a second. It's changed the time now. So let's put this back in. It was at three minutes, wasn't it? Just to keep it nice and tidy. And then you can have range on or target on whichever the two and again the range is this band here so you can as long as you stay within the band then you're doing as the workout is asking you or if you change it to target it will get rid of it see over here it's got rid of that range so it's going to leave that as it is for now okay so 
that's that. So if you're on your um, if you're on your watch, you can click this box and you can end the step early by pressing the lap button. So what that will do is it'll progress it onto the next interval if you press the lap button. Okay. So there's an option for you if you want to uh, if you're struggling maybe on an interval and you want to progress or you need to get to a recovery because you're suffering a little bit, then maybe you can adjust it in there. You can also add in cadence ranges, which will add in there as well. So this appeared in the description look. Um, and you can also add in some additional notes. Take it easy, easy, early, on, exclamation mark. Okay, so we, there we go. So that's fine, so that's all finished. See the note is also dropped in there. So if we save and close that, that is your workout created on that Monday, day one. Nice and straightforward, okay? Now, the beauty of this is that you can copy and paste these. So if you're doing the same workout the next week, you can copy, paste it in there, then go back into it, click on the boxes again, and then maybe that, this section here, see when you mouse over it, it highlights this section down here because that's the section it's related to. So you might want to go, I don't know, you might want to go, let's do four minutes and two minutes, but you want to do it four times this time rather than three. There you go. So that's changed, that's changed that one. Um, and that might be enough. You might think that's enough of a progression. So again, save and close it. And then you've got these two intervals saved there. So you can actually build up a library of these workouts pretty quickly. Um, really not as much work as I originally thought it was going to be. So they're pretty straightforward. Now the beauty of these, if you use Strava or you have a Garmin Connect account, a Garmin account, then you can actually sync these workouts with your watch and with, um, sorry, not Strava, with Zwift. And it will automatically import into your watch and into Zwift. I'm going to do a video separately about importing these workouts into Zwift. It's really straightforward, so I'll do that uh, do that uh, separately. But, uh, well, I hope you found that video useful. That's a nice, simple guide. Hopefully, it'll help one or two of you guys out. If you if you enjoyed it and you found it useful, then uh, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that um, you'll get notifications when we have any more videos coming out. Got lots more content about uh, swim, bike, and run. Um, so give us a follow and um, if you've got any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comments box below and uh, we shall uh, hopefully get to those for you as soon as we as soon as we can but thanks very much take care